What are the top automation and testing trends you need to know for 2023? How do you future-proof your automation pipelines? And will chat GPT or open AI change software testing? Find out in this episode of the Test Skill DevSecOps News Show for the week of January 8th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. This episode of the Test Skill News Show is sponsored by the awesome folks at Apply Tools. I think this year, more than ever, you need to learn the difference between functional and visual testing, gaps that functional testing misses, and how visual testing can help you deliver better user experience, which is more important now than ever. Find out today by creating a free Apply Tools account in the first comment down below. Want to discover how to create mock APIs for free? Well, I found a resource that might just help you do that. All right, this is from Mohammed, and he said he found a good website for mocking APIs, and it's free. And he also tried using it for creating some sample code, and it is awesome. So let's see what API Mocha is all about. All you need to do is get started, is enter in your base URL, and it goes over how you can use Mocha API to help speed up your development time by mocking APIs. I can rapidly prototype APIs before building your final solution. You can download mock requests as a Postman collection with a single click. So if you're doing anything with APIs, this seems like a great resource for you to definitely check out. And you can find it in the first comment down below. A popular API that came into Vogue a few years ago is Graph SQL. So if you need to also test something like Graph SQL and you want to use Cypress, I found another resource that could definitely help you with this as well. And this post is by Cypress, and they talk about how working with Graph SQL requires learning an assortment of best practices, overrides, and assertions. But are you up for the challenge? So this guide shows you best practices, how to use multiple graph queries or mutations for a group of tests, how to override an existing intercept to modify the query or mutation responses. And this has a bunch of examples in code using Cypress as well. So a lot of talk has been going on this year, or the end of last year around OpenAI, ChatGPT. So I actually found a link to a link in LinkedIn that goes a little bit more into ChatGPT and how it can help you with automation testing. All right, a lot of times when I feature people on LinkedIn, it's because they've linked to something else. So thank you, Butch, for this. If you're not following Butch and you want to learn more about Playwright, Butch has a website dedicated to Playwright that you definitely should check out as well. And so what he linked to is a article by Ben Fellows on ChatGPT that helps write page object classes in Playwright. And this article goes over how using this method actually helped 10X to scale their efforts in creating page objects. So not only does it have a video, but it talks about what is ChatGPT, how ChatGPT can help with some examples, with a template class it created, some raw code, what the ChatGPT prompt was, and really just a step-by-step -step case study with examples on how Ben leveraged ChatGPT to help create these page objects. Maybe it's me, but I'm really blown away by ChatGPT. This is just the beginning, and it's what, one of the first few versions. So just think of ChatGPT version 4, 5, and 6. I think it's eventually going to replace things like Google, and it's actually going to help replace a lot of the repetitive things that we've been doing currently. I think it's going to do a lot of the heavy list lifting. Is it perfect now? No. Is it always accurate? No, but you probably could have said that about Google years ago, and you could probably still say it about Google now. So it's just a tool that I think it's going to help us to create rapidly better programming for our automated test and a bunch of other things. So definitely check this out. Don't fall asleep on ChatGPT because I think it is the real deal and it's only going to get more and more powerful. So speaking of Puppeteer, I found another article on how to do end-to-end -end testing of a Chrome extension, which can be really challenging, and how they achieved it using Puppeteer. So this article is by Viv Richards, and it goes over how to do end-to-end -end testing against a Chrome extension using Puppeteer. And Viv goes over how he came across this particular challenge, what he was doing before, and why it was frustrating. And then he goes over some options he considered, and then he talks about why he decided to use Puppeteer for this. So he has code examples and, and a bunch more. So thank you, Viv, for this resource. You can check it out in the first comment down below. Want to know how to future-proof your automation pipeline? We'll have a great resource that's going to help you actually do this. So this is a free webinar by the folks at Apply Tools to show you how automation testing with Apply Tools and Cypress can help reduce costs associated with manual testing, which allows for greater efficiency and scalability. They also demonstrate how it could be used together to create a powerful, easy to maintain, and future-proof test automation pipeline. So some key takeaways are going to be 
learning how to best utilize the power of Cypress in Opley tools for maximum scalability and reliability. So we have a bunch of examples and best practices for creating end-to-end -end automated tests that leverage CI CD to run tests in parallel. And also is going to explore some reports and analytics provided by both Cypress and Apple tools that's going to help improve your decision making. So definitely a must attend webinar that you definitely should register for in the first comment down below. So I actually took the past three weeks off for the holidays, but I'm back. I don't know if you actually saw my top 13 automation predictions for 2023. So here are the top 13 automation trends you need to know about in 2023. And so I have a high level breakdown of what the trends are in general. So the top 13 are mobile testing, I think innovation in mobile testing. The second is continuous accessibility automation. Three is the rise of unified testing management platforms. Four is what is the top testing programming language for 2023. Five is why data ops for testers is really needed more than ever. You're also going to learn why SQL for testers is a growing trend, synthetic data, AI automation and production, API simulation, self-service cloud development environments, platform engineering, AI assistance and automation testing, and why asking better questions is my top skill you need to know for this year in the years coming up. And so a lot of these trends we actually cover in our Automation Guild that's going on in February 6th to the 10th. So if you really want to take a deeper dive onto each of these areas, we have a bunch of different sessions covering some of them that I think you're really going to need to know in the new year, especially as we head into recession, this environment, and also how AI-assisted technology is really going to change the way we do software testing. These are skills you're going to need to know. And the way to know is to really take a deeper dive by joining Automation Guild this year. And you can register for Automation Guild now by heading over to automationguild.com and registering today. Hope to see you there. So as you notice, one of my trends was AI-assisted technology. And one of those AI-assisted technology is ChatGPT. So I found this resource by Daniel that goes over, will open API or ChatGPT change software testing? And thank you, Daniel, for giving me a shout out. I did cover this in a new show maybe three weeks ago with some examples as well. But Daniel's given his take on what he thinks. And so I think this is a really critical area you really need to know about in 2023. So you definitely should check out this resource and then let us know what you think in the comments down below. Next up, performance and site reliability news. So if you use AWS CloudWatch, you probably struggle with how to keep track of certain metrics. So I found a great open source resource that can help you actually do this. And this resource is by Harinda. And he talks about how he created an open source solution called the CloudWatch Dashboard Builder that lets you build a CloudWatch Dashboard template out of different AWS namespaces. And this particular open source version for the tool includes AWS SQL query expressions for CloudWatch metrics. So now you have the ability to build CloudWatch dashboards for AWS metrics using SQL query expressions. So definitely a cool tool if you're doing anything with AWS CloudWatch, you definitely should check this out in the comments down below. Next up, security testing news. So we've covered this multiple times on the news show, but it is API testing, especially how you need to make your APIs more secure. And it's a growing area that a lot of hackers are exploiting because a lot of people aren't putting proper security measures when they're doing APIs, when they're testing APIs to test them for security. So this next news story is just a cautionary tale of why you need to do more security testing, especially for your APIs. So this article goes over how a Twitter data breach shows APIs are a gold mine for social engineering. And this talks about how a Twitter API vulnerability shipped in June 2021 and later patched and how it has come back to whole organizations. So in December, one hacker claimed to have the personal data of 400 million users for sale on the dark web. And just yesterday, attackers released the account details and email addresses of 235 million users for free. And the article goes into more detail on how social media giants offer cyber criminals a goldmine of information that they can use to conduct social engineering scams. It also goes into detail on the link between social engineering API hacks and how to protect your APIs as well. So a critical area you definitely should be getting into, especially as we enter the new year. And for links of everything Valley we covered in this news episode, head on over to the links in the first comment down below. And while you're there, make sure to check out our sponsor, Apply Tools free account offer and discover how to take your automation testing to the next level, leveraging visual AI. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. 
As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.